Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Let's keep me anonymous. Can you make a clary, uh, video clary test on British Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton, who despite winning five world championships and well on his way to his sixth, is still much despised by a wide margin in the F1 community? I'm not going to use the R word, but that does somewhat come into play. What's the R word? Um, that in his playboy lifestyle that we can all aspire to. What's the R word? I don't know F1 formula stuff. R word is even... Oh, wait. He's retarded? I'm not going to use the R word. But that does come... Then is... Okay, there must be a different R word. Uh, can't see him to... Okay, I'm only getting retarded as the only R word out there. Um, this must mean something else then. Uh, what is his name? Lewis Hamilton. Why is he hated so much? Is he like uh, Tom Brady? He's just that good? Lewis Hamilton. Okay, you're looking young man there. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is a British fashion. Boo. Booty booty bee. Beady 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 boo. 81 Grand Prix wins? Wow, that's pretty good. I guess. Uh... Oh, let me go right to his... Ah, no, I don't want that. What's the guy? Lewis Hamilton. Oh, race. Is that it? Is it, is it the race? Oh, race, because he's not white. Or he's part white. Okay, Lewis Carl David Hamilton, 1985. British racing driver who races Formula One for the Mercedes AMG Petronas Motorsport. Five-time Formula One world champion. He's often considered the best driver of his generation and widely... I thought the guys in, in Fast and the Furious, I thought Hobbs and Shaw were the best drivers. What, who's this guy? I had, I'll tell you a side story. I've known this guy. He's a guy now, but I've known him since he was about 15. And he was all about Fast and the Furious. And now that, that series has been running now, but the kid is 30. Kid. I'm like, hey, you could go see the latest bet. I hear the truck goes off some pretty sweet jumps. And he's like, oh, no, we're not going to... Yeah, man, oh, the rock's in it. Yeah, he's holding that helicopter to it. No, totally could happen. Totally. I was so sad about that Hobbs and Shaw. I'm like, yeah, Stathy. Get a little Stathy in there in the rock. Dwayne John. What, what movie? Oh, it's a sequel to The Fast and the Fierce. Never mind. Never mind. They couldn't have just done a good old buddy cop flick, could they? Yes, no. No, we had to have a sequel. Oh, look, we're going to take on the world with clubs. Because uh, we're Maori or... Uh, Polynesian. Uh, all right, back to this guy. I was so let down on that. That Hobbs and Shaw. I'm like, yeah, it's about time for a good buddy cop flick. Oh, it's not a buddy cop flick. Oh, no, no. Uh, Widely regarded as one of the greatest drivers in the history of the sport. He won his first world champion title with McLaren in 2008, moved to Mercedes. Back-to-back -back titles in 2014-2015, back-to-back titles again 2017-2018. The most successful British driver in the history of sport, Hamilton, has more world champion titles and more race victories, 81, than any British driver in Formula 1. Well, there you go. He also holds uh, records for the most all-time career points. Uh, look, how can you guys hate it is I don't know. You, you would know. I mean, do people hate him really because of the race, or does he have some kind of uh, intolerable off-road flair about him? Um, like, what was the name? McGregor. Now, of course, that's uh, the fighter, not Ewan McGregor. What's McGregor's first name? He, he goads the audience. That's, that's part of his shtick. He talks smack. I think they all talk smack. Let me tell you something, Hulk Hogan. They always telling each other something. It was the 80s. It was before your time. <clears throat> um, I mean, is it, is it the same thing? And then more people tune in. Pole positions Grand Slam. Born and raised in Stevenage, Hertfordshire. Hamilton's interest in racing started when his father bought him a radio controlled car when he was six. He was signed to McLaren's Young Driver Support Program in 1998. Well, maybe he comes from wealth. 
because <clears throat> he was 13 at the time. He looks like he went right into racing. So in 2007, he started racing. So how old? He's 22. He didn't have time to sit there and take uh, diversity women's studies courses. Star Ranch is an early life in education. Let's see how he... Okay, born I did then. Mother is white British, while his dad is black British, making a mixed race. He identifies as black. Okay, well, there you go. Because <laughs> you get the benefits. Okay, I can see already I don't like it. Separated when he was two, and as a result of he lived with his mother and half-sisters. Okay, half-sisters. All right, all right. <laughs> Nothing good. If you have half-siblings, something bad happened. Really? They separated? Until he was 12, then he went to live with his father, stepmom, half-brother, professional racing driver, has cerebral palsy. Really? Okay. Raised Roman Catholic. Father of radio control. Go-kart. Well, his dad must have come from some cash. Buying a guy a go-kart at six. Anthony. Anthony took the information technology man became a contractor, sometimes working for three jobs at a time. I was still watching Anthony set up his own computer company, still managing Lewis. Hamilton ended his working relationship with father in early 2010. God almighty, this is all sorts of fucked up. Sounds like the dad made some good money, bought him a lot of things, but then he came from a, obviously a broken home. Dad's working three jobs, but maybe wasn't stable. Where do you where do you go? Did he come from wealth? He didn't. No, he didn't come from wealth. <clears throat> and if he did, it wasn't stable. But he was somewhat. Spo I mean, he had. I, I no, I'm not going to use the privilege word. No, he had an advantage because his dad got him into racing very early. He had the money to afford that. But there was no stability, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. He did not come from wealth, um, and it also was impaired by having a broken home. Educated at the John Henry Newman School, voluntary Ada Catholic Secondary School in Stevenshire. He played football. Is that soccer, football, or American football? Probably soccer. Had not worked. A cricketer, Cambridge Arts and Sciences, a private sixth form college. At the age of five, he took up karate to defend himself as bullying and ride a unicycle. <laughs> Part of karting rivalry with Started riding in 1993, so he was 15. Right into racing. I don't see any mention of college, which is good for him. It's very similar like those guys who are musicians where they, like, they start playing in middle school, high school, and then they just release an album and go to play and they never go to college. So that's good. Uh, he's still racing. He's young. I think I think we got it here because he is relatively young, so there's not a lot to say. He did not come from wealth. We're just going to assume that. He didn't major in stupid shit. Um, he's worked his entire life, albeit it's probably fun, but it is real work. It's not like you just sit there and, woo, and he's working to today. Uh, so he gets a perfect score. Uh, would I want to have a beer with him? <sighs> See, I would, except when he says, I'm going to identify as black. It's like, <sighs> and who knows? You know what? That could just be the media saying that. Like they forced it on him. He could never think about it. So I, I, I eh. yeah. I, I probably have a beer with him. You know, you got to keep in mind this is Wikipedia. How did they spin it? Uh, <clears throat> I'm just not into racing that much. I'm like, well, what do you do? You, you do this a lot and shift. Well, I guess it's paddle shifting now. What do you think of Hobbs and Shaw? Uh, should you run for office? <sighs> I don't know. It's kind of the same thing with like. You get success early on, you are hardworking, but you're really not anchored in the real world like you're a successful young musician. Like I don't know if I want you running for office. Not yet. Let's say not yet. Let's see what he does afterwards. Wait, does he have any non-profit touchy-feely bullshit? No. 
That looks good. Usually there's like, and they donate to the Save the Porpoises Fund. It's like, eh. Racist treatment, was he? The first and only black driver. No, mixed race, let's be accurate. Has been subjected to racial abuse throughout his career. Hamilton was verbally heckled and otherwise abused. Central Spanish spectator with black women, black women. Oh, you mean fans can be dicks? Is that really? I guess it is racism. And launched a race against race. Oh, the FIA warned Spanish authorities. First Hamilton's tire. Oh come on! This just sounds like. Yeah, now this this I don't. It's not him who's saying it. It's uh. These people. Yeah, it it sounds more like the media is trying to make a. It sounds like brown journalism. Doesn't sound like it bothers that guy that much. I'd, I'd have a coffee with him. But I, I think <clears throat> until he gets into the real world, like let's say he broke his wrist, he can't race no more, and then he's got a, I don't know, program. I, something. I, I, I don't think he should run for office yet. Yet. Perfect score. Yeah, I have a beer with him. Because, like, have I ever had a beer with anyone on the Clary test? <laughs> Half of them are dead, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I got Ron Jeremy. I, yeah, what, is Ron Jeremy going to have a beer with me one of these days? Probably not. Um, yeah, I'd have a beer with the guy. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think he doesn't have enough diversified world experience for me to say, yeah, you've been anchored into the real world with people enough to know the plight of the average working man. All right, that's it. Questions and answers. Links down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.